everybody, Richie Plumes with Plumes Lawn Care and Landscape. We are getting ready to do the baseball field, which you guys have seen in previous videos. We've got uh, three places we're going to take care of today. A baseball field, two cleanups. Let's see, one's going to be a pruning job, one's just a, a whole cleanup of the entire yard. So, this is a new guy we got today. It's Brady. Brady. Brady, how much experience you got? Uh, I got a little bit, not a not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Well, see what you can teach me. We're going we're going to teach him a couple of things. So today, we're gonna walk out here. We're gonna look at the ball field, and we've got to do some spraying. We've had some serious rain, so it's kind of hindered us trying to get ready on the uh, warning track. So Brady's gonna weed eat all along the fence line, and then uh, I'm gonna mow the grass. And then once we get it mowed, then we're gonna come back and. Uh, and spray everything for all the weeds and everything so but as you can tell the baseball field did finally green up everybody so i mean everybody that seen it how brown it was when we first started to notice now that uh, the ball field's really starting to green up and look nice so but uh, they haven't got to play out here in over a week with all the rain it's pretty much flooded the entire area so uh, if anybody's seen some of the pictures i posted on instagram you've seen where uh, a cornfield was under about five feet of water so we've had a, a ton of rain in a short amount of time so that it's never a good thing. So anyway, guys, we're going to get you some footage here. guys we got the field mowed up and you can see we got the stripes uh, starting to lay down you know it's uh, a work in progress but we're getting there we're slowly getting there uh, talk a little bit about hiring employees um, everybody knows how difficult it is to find an employee and are good employees especially in in this job field I mean you see guys who who want to do the work and then they realize it's a lot harder than than what they thought it's not as simple as just going out and mowing grass we eating a little bit around a pole or something and, and being done i mean there's a lot of work that goes into it when you're when you're maintaining facilities and stuff so um talk a little bit about uh, my new employee this is uh is actually his second day working with me and you know the first day we done a uh, pine straw and, and pruning job and you know and he done real well there today we're uh, mowing the baseball field we've got one pruning job to do and then we've got one uh one uh, big cleanup to do. A lady called me. Her uh, her uh, in-law's house is pretty badly overgrown, so we're going to go over and clean that up for them and get it taken care of. But uh, when when we're looking for employees, you know, like I said, it's hard to find people who want to do this work and and actually enjoy this kind of work. But uh, when you find them, you want to hold on to them. So you know, I'm happy with with what he's done so far for me. So. You know, I was kind of spoiled last year, which everybody knows 90% of the time I work by myself, I work solo, but there's times where I'm gonna need an employee and and have help. You know, you can't do it all by yourself every time. So um, last year I got kind of spoiled, had a guy who enjoyed doing the work and worked hard. Uh, I do get the luxury of having my dad with me from time to time and gives me a chance to spend some time with him. But uh, you know, sometimes, you you know, if you want to grow in this industry, you're going to have to hire employees. You're never going to be able to do it all by yourself if you really plan to build a company and 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 be very successful. And, you know, eventually you're going to have to have help. So, you know, um, I'm a person that uh, I'm picky and, you know, I, I get along great with most people. Uh, I don't have any problems, you know, not getting along with people, but for the most part, I get along great with them, and and so. But uh, when you when you have employees, you have to be firm with them, but you also have to 
know the line of being overly firm i guess you would say to the point where they just don't enjoy it so you want to be firm with them and let them know hey this is how we're going to do it and this is the way it needs to be done but you also want to make sure that they can feel comfortable around you so you know making employees comfortable is a very important thing uh, when you when you have employees you need to make them feel comfortable make them feel like they're a part of the team not just a, an employee that works for you so uh, you know it's just a little tidbit there on on hiring employees i want to talk to you about uh, you know how to be successful when you have employees so but anyway guys like i said we got this one done you can see here the stripes are starting to to come in and the grass is starting to green up we still like i said got a long ways to go but uh we're gonna get this uh cleaned up here get everything loaded back up we're gonna head to our next one i'll get some footage of us uh, doing a little clean up and then i'll get some footage of the pruning all right guys location number two we're gonna clean up these flower beds get those cleaned up prune some of these trees down a little bit lower that are kind of out of whack get the weeds taken care of in the flower beds and then we're going to mow it so this is a new customer and so you can see behind me what we've got uh, not a real big place fairly small place easy place uh, along our route and so uh, they contacted us wanting to know if we could take care of it so a little work to get it in shape but once we get it there it'll look good so i mean as you can see the beds here got a lot of weeds but uh this is our next one and uh, we'll get a little bit of footage of mowing and uh, clean up here and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Always be the one you wanna call when it's cold outside I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side Open up your heart and let me in I promise not to break you I promise I'll be all, all that you want So
so we're finished for the day. That's uh, two cleanups and uh, the baseball field today. So I mean, we uh, two pretty good size cleanups that we had to take care of. But uh, we're headed back now. Brady, what do you think of it? Uh, it's a nice day at work. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. So what do you think about lawn care? Something you, you like it so far? I mean, yeah, it's not. It's a pretty good. Good deal. Well, we're gonna we're gonna turn him into a lawn care professional. <laughs> so but uh yeah guys so we're headed back now so tomorrow we got a big pruning job to take care of so uh make sure you uh you like subscribe you know share us let uh let us know what you think and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video